Introduction Oh Girish, look at this butterfly. How does it fly? Yes, Mona, how beautiful it is. It flies by flapping small wings. Girish, how do these fishes breathe in water? Yes, Mona, I remember my teacher told in class that they have some special organs called gills. Girish, do we also breathe by gills? No, Mona, we have other special organs for it. Come, let us learn more about these in the lesson, Animal Lifestyles. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to know about animals, understand breathing in animals, tell about organs for breathing, explain different types of feeding habits in animals, know about movement in animals, describe movement on land, Discuss movement in water, know about movement in air, tell about movement in insects, and understand migration. Animals Animals are found in water, in air, and also on land. Even on snow and under deep ocean, animals vary greatly in size and shape. Animals also vary in their body structure and their habits. In spite of all these variations, animals have three basic functions. Breathing, feeding, movement. Breathing in animals. Breathing is taking in of fresh air, that is oxygen, and giving off foul air, that is carbon dioxide. Organs of breathing. There are different types of organs for breathing in different types of animals. Birds, reptiles, mammals breathe by lungs. Amphibians breathe by skin. Fish breathe by gills. Insects like cockroaches breathe by spiracles. Some tiny worms like earthworms breathe by body surface. Feeding in animals. As we all know that all living things need energy to keep them alive. They get this energy from food. On the basis of type of food, animals are of three types. Herbivorous, carnivorous, omnivorous. Let us first discuss what herbivorous are. Animals that eat plants are known as herbivorous. Example, cow, buffalo, goat, sheep, deer, zebra, rabbits. Likewise, carnivorous are those animals which eat other animals. Example, lion, tiger, cheetah, cat. Omnivorous are those animals which eat both plants and animals. Example, man, bears, dog, crow. Movement in animals. In search of food and shelter to protect themselves, or to find mate, animals have to move from one place to another. There are three different types of movement. Moving on land, moving in water, moving in air. Moving on land. All the land animals have legs to move. They have four legs. Two front legs are called forelimbs and two at the back are called hind legs. Animals of cat family move by four legs. Man and kangaroo move by two hind legs. Reptiles have short legs, which help them crawl. Snakes do not have legs. They move by curving and pushing their body against the ground. Moving in water. Water animals like fish have fins and a powerful tail to move in water. Frog has webbed feet to move in water. Turtles and tortoise move with legs like paddles. Moving in air. Birds have light body, which is helpful in flying. Birds fly in air by flapping their wings, which are covered by feathers. They use their legs to perch on the tree 
and walk on ground. Movement in insects Most of the insects have six legs which help them to move from one place to another. Ants or cockroaches walk with their legs. Beetles, lice and bedbugs crawl with their legs. Some insects have strong hind legs which help them in hopping. Many insects have wings and can therefore fly. Housefly flies with its two wings and dragonflies with four wings. Moving long distances, migration. In extreme climatic conditions, some animals move long distances to find food and water, to escape harsh weather and to find a safe place. This is known as migration. Arctic tern travels a long distance of 17,000 km from Arctic to Antarctic during winter. Some mammals and insects also migrate. Some whales migrate from polar region to tropical oceans during winter. Self-assessment. Match the following column A with column B. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Animals are found everywhere on the earth. Animals have variations in organs of breathing, feeding and movement according to their environment. Birds, reptiles and mammals breathe by lungs. Fish and water animals breathe by gills. Insects breathe by spiracles. Worms breathe by body surface. Animals may be herbivorous, carnivorous and omnivorous. Animals move by legs, fins or wings. In unfavorable conditions, some animals move long distances.